for me, the most important thing I do is protect this community and keep this community safe. It's about you and the public's trust. The one thing that the people know about my leadership of the Sheriff's Office is, is I hold people accountable. Some people say I have too high standards. I don't think there's any such thing. Demanding accountability and defending your rights against the police specifically and the government generally are difficult and dangerous tasks. Your right to watch the government and record what you see is a natural right that is protected by the Constitution and it cannot be taken away by the government. Hey everybody, I'm bringing you some more body cam footage from an incident that took place on January 27th of 2019. 420RU2 and I were out cop watching and came upon this scene involving mainly Spokane County Sheriff deputies who don't believe in transparency and have no dash or body cams. And guys, in this day and age, that just seems ridiculous. It is, however, the reason I will request body cam or dash cam footage every time I see an order follower from a different department that has them assisting the sheriff's department. That was my main reason for requesting this footage. I'll be bringing you the rest of the footage from this stop really soon. But first, I stumbled upon some very important information in this one that highlights the importance of reviewing what our public servants are talking about on duty while the cameras are rolling. Unfortunately, it also highlights why that thin blue line is a line separating us, demonstrating how civilians are treated as the class of servitude to be ruled over and managed, while ruling class enforcers and representatives live by their own rules as sovereigns among us. You tell me, who are the true sovereign citizens in today's society? As for me, I'll stick with spreading the nonviolent message of having no rulers, but only voluntary interactions between free individuals. I'm a voluntarist, and I believe in the non-aggression principle. I hope you learn something from this video and start being active in your community. Watch the watchers and make sure they play by the rules. Links to 420RU2, his videos, and all of my sources are listed in the description. Now check out what I found. I'll discuss it and what I've followed up with after you see it and hear it for yourself. Did uh, Chad Gordon, did he bounce back pretty good and doing okay? Yeah. yeah. Fine, he's working out in 12 right now out around Airway Heights. Mm -hmm. Didn't seem to bother him too much. Your buddies come, right? Uh, our wives are more or less friends. Okay. I see him like maybe once every three months. Yeah. But... How they know each other? The church. Okay. <clears throat> but even at that, I, anymore they only because they kind of you know they built a new house and got we only talk to maybe once a month they even talk. It's not that much no, anymore. Yeah. But, to know if he'd be doing okay after his old firing and then bring him back. And yeah, he seems to be doing fine. Luckily, Ozzy didn't ride with him on New Year's Eve, so. But Ozzy always rides with somebody New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah? So, that would have been interesting if he would have done that, but he rode with the Valley guy. Yeah, he seemed to take it pretty well from the whole time it stopped, or the whole time it kind of kicked off to when it ended. After hearing all the details about that entire case, I'm surprised he got his job back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just don't know exactly what happened from all the different stories that I've heard about it. Because yeah. I've talked to him and he can't really remember a lot of it, according to him, I think. So. I want to play most of that back for you. But this time, I'm going to focus on what I deem to be the most important things. Then, I'm going to go over what I have researched about Deputy Chad Gorton since I got this footage. I'm not going to tell you what I think yet. I want you to watch it again first. Why don't you leave me a comment while you listen to what was said for a second time. Do you think something not of the highest standards is going on here regarding this Deputy Chad Gorton? Okay, before I play it again, I am going to make one comment after all. Most of us who are looking honestly at these statute enforcement units we call police and sheriffs and categorize under public safety understand the thin blue line surrounds and protects its own. We know it takes a lot to get a good order follower fired. When a good enforcer is found, they need to keep him around for the enrichment of the prison industrial complex. Did uh, Chad Gordon he bounce back pretty good and doing okay? Right now, around Airway Heights. Mm -hmm. well, it 
seem to bother him. She know if he'd be doing okay after his old firing and then bring him back. And yeah, he seems to be doing fine. Luckily, Ozzy didn't ride with him on New Year's Eve, so uh, Ozzy always rides with somebody on New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. So, that would have been interesting if he would have gotten happy to go with the Valley guy. Yeah, he seemed to take it pretty well from the whole time it stopped. There's the whole time it kind of kicked off to it ended. After hearing all the details about that entire case, I'm surprised he got his job back. <laughs> yeah. I don't know exactly what happened from all the different stories that I've heard about it. Because so, I've talked to him and he can't really remember a lot of it, according to him, I think. So. I just want to give everyone a quick reminder of the leadership Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich is providing here in Spokane County at the Sheriff's Department. Those high standards are what matter, and I hold people accountable. There are 68 people who don't work for this agency because they didn't do it right. I should know if he'd be doing okay after his old firing and then bring him back. And... Okay, since we've reinforced how well-known Ozzy is for having the highest standards for his order followers and getting rid of those who don't do it right, we can move on. I have a feeling my curiosity about those 68 people who don't work for the department anymore won't allow me to just leave that alone. But that's a subject for another video. If you search DuckDuckGo and Google with the name Chad Gorton and the term Spokane County Sheriff Department, you'll see a press release and a Facebook post announcing his original hire back in 2016. You'll also pull up a couple of press releases and articles from local media covering incidents order follower Gorton was involved in. For example, in January of 2018, Gorton, another deputy, and a detective responded to a triggered alarm at a gas station and upon showing up and announcing their presence, a man now convicted of raping the attendant gave himself up. I wanted to bring this story up because this is the typical story run in local media to reinforce this idea that cops are for public safety and not to enrich and grow the prison industrial complex. I would agree these are the types of instances where order followers are out there doing good things. The problem is, these instances of stopping a violent crime in progress, or as in this case showing up immediately after to solve the crime, are glorified and presented as the reason we need cops all the time. They use this to justify what order followers work mainly consists of, which is enforcing statutes on people for victimless crimes, throwing people in cages because they weren't able to pay the extortion amounts by the time our rulers set the deadline for, or any other myriad of victimless crimes where our rulers have deemed it necessary to criminalize supposedly free people in order to get us under their constant control. This example from the Spokesman Review didn't need order followers. Think about it. Without the presence of cops, this convenience store still would have had a security alarm and I presume some security company tied to monitoring it. Without order followers, the store would have had to hire its own security force rather than rely on one provided by others. They could choose one with a faster response time, one that doesn't use weapons, whatever the company chooses. Instead, we are all forced to use the same socialized form of security that is designed and set up by our masters. We are not told about issues within these socialized security forces. We are for the most part only told of the heroic things they do. We have to dig and do our own research like I have done to find out these enforcement thugs we are forced to pay for, backed with the threat of force, don't always have the highest of ethical and professional standards like they profess. Now I want to move on to specifically what I've found about order follower Chad Gorton in this incident that allegedly got him fired and then rehired. Honestly, I haven't been able to find a lot and here's the reason why. First, let me show you what I found when I visited the Spokane County District Court website. You can use the site to search for criminal and civil cases held in this district. When I do a search for the last name Gorton, here's what comes up. There's a list of names and birth dates. You can click on a name and bring up any public court records of that individual. Notice how order follower Gorton has no date of birth? Well, the interesting thing is, when you click the link on his name, it returns a page that says no results found. Hmm, I wonder what happens when we click on another name on the list. Wow, look at that. It actually brings up information on the case. 
After doing some further research, I found out the reason nothing returns for the case against order follower Chad Gordon is because the records have been sealed. That's why we can't even view his date of birth next to his name on the list. Maybe it's just me, but I think the people enforcing laws over us should be held to a higher standard, and if they commit crimes, we should be able to see them. In order to try to find out what happened with this enforcement gangster of the Thin Blue Line gang, I have submitted a public records request to see his full employment history with the Spokane County Sheriff's Office. I received a response stating they would provide me with an installment or all of the records requested by June 7, 2019. I'll give an update on all of this when I get more information. There are a lot of unknowns regarding this currently, and one thing for sure is a member of the Thin Blue Line that appears to be willing to do just about anything to protect their own mentioned he was surprised order follower Gordon wasn't fired. That alone was enough to put my antennas on full alert and start digging to find out what happened that this enforcement thug was allegedly fired and then rehired. Thanks again for watching my video. You guys are the most important part of what I do. It's your comments and support for knowledge and truth that keeps me going. If you get something from my videos and you want me to dedicate more time to researching and writing these stories, consider checking out the description for all of the links where you can support questionable authority. If you want some great conversation starting gear, consider checking out the merchandise shop and getting a mug, a t-shirt, or even a phone case to show all your friends and family you think outside of the corporate media box we are all kept in. Until next time, keep fighting for dangerous freedom over the false security of servitude and remember to always film law enforcement. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and share it with everyone you know. Find us on Twitter as well as censorship free platforms like BitChute and Steemit or DTube. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to smile at someone you don't know every day.